All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles, a great millstone that taught us this truth. This is Isaiah from GMS London, England, coming with another video. All right, and this one, you know, I'm focusing on Job 9 and 24, okay, where it's written, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, and he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right? If not, where and who is he? Okay? And yeah, man, that's the reason you, you see all this wickedness in this earth, man. Okay? Because you've got wicked rulers. Alright? The so-called white man, which is Esau Edom in the Bible, is the one who's ruling the earth right now. Okay? And the scriptures tell you it's been given into the hands of the wicked. So who is it that you see ruling the earth? Who is it that you see that makes all these decisions? Who is it that you see that goes to different countries and gives them, you know, uh, you know, these al uh, alphabet group rights, you know, teaching alphabet, you know, uh, philosophies to the children. And when I when I say alphabet, you know what I'm talking about, okay? The rainbow people, which, you know, that shows you how much you know wickedness is in the earth, man, because. They've taken that rainbow, all right, which is, the, you know, a sign, you know, that's really the Lord's sign, man, okay? You know, as a covenant, man, that he wouldn't flood the, the earth with water again, okay? Because what was happening in the time of Noah and the flood? Pure wickedness in the earth, all right? So the Lord, through the first death, all right, through the flood, you know, destroyed, you know, everybody except eight souls, Okay, Noah and his household. Okay, but you've got today the same wickedness, you know, that's going on. All right, and who is the one that's promoting and pushing that? It's Esau Edom, the so called white man. All right, who would be ruling in the last days, man. All right, he's the one that's pushed all this wickedness in the earth. Okay, he's the one that's covered the faces of the judges. All right. Uh, first Maccabees 3 and 48 says and laid open the book of the law Wherein the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. So who was the one that opened the Bible and started uh, You know painting and putting images of So-called white people, right? Edomites as the people of the Bible as the Lord right? as, as you know as the righteous people that's these Edomites. They don't, they're the one that's done that through iconoclasm Which means the destruction of images all right, an image breaker. All right, through Renaissance art. All right, where they came back in power. Okay, because in truth, the Bible, all right, describes uh, people of color. Okay, describes uh, so-called black people. Okay, which, you know, you know the the twelve tribes of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, according to Bible prophecy, they're the true chosen people of the Lord, man. You know, when you're reading the Bible and you're reading about Samson, when you're reading about King David, when you're reading about King Solomon, when you're reading about the Lord, okay, those are, uh, you know, describing people of color, okay? But through deception, okay, the so called white man has, has deceived the world, man. I push lies out there, okay? So he's gonna have to pay for all those blasphemies, man. That's why, you know, in these last days, you're seeing, you know, things collapsing. That's why you're seeing all these controversial topics being brought up, okay? The topic of racism, you know, the topic, you know, of, uh, you know, that bloody uh, past of slavery. All these different things that the so-called white man Esau has done, all his wickedness is being brought up and he can't escape it. Why? Because it's the time where he's being revealed, man. Uh, uh, Second Thessalonians, uh, you know, it speaks about uh, then shall that wicked be revealed, who the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right, so these Edomites are right, starting with the wicked elite because they know the truth, they know who the chosen people of the Lord are, and they know who the wicked is. They know who they are, and they know they're being revealed, man. Them elite small hat banking families, okay. That's, that's pushing all this wickedness, right? This word, the spirit of the Lord's mouth, this word is, is consuming them, man, and this whole world. Those that aren't right, those that aren't for the truth, 
they're getting consumed man this word is like a fire and it's burning them up all right and it's and it's gonna get bigger and bigger and, and you know it's you know the truth you know being spread more and more to reach the, the elect so the Lord's elect can hear and, and be uh, uh, sealed for salvation and what's gonna happen in the end the Lord is gonna return and destroy this wicked kingdom okay with an army of angels with the chariots okay he's coming to bring salvation to the elect the ones that repent and return unto him through this truth the Israelites all right the true chosen all right to bring salvation to them and bring destruction to this wicked kingdom especially America which is Babylon the Great okay the Lord is gonna invade with an army of angels man with so-called UFOs lasers concentrated fire shooting from those chariots all right turning America into a lake of fire all right and all these different neighboring countries you know these different nations they're gonna get you know hit with missiles too all right as a result of World War three all right and and this is all for our favor man this is you know because um, you know that that World War three that's gonna be the judgment the Lord is bringing upon our enemies these heathen nations the one that had us in slavery the one that has us oppressed okay because Joel 3, it tells you uh, the, that they, um, you know, that the Lord will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, Yahweh Shapat, meaning the Lord's judgment, all right, down in the Middle East region, the hotspot for World War III. And the scriptures tell you that there he will plead with them for his people and his heritage, Israel, all right? So these nations, they're going to get, you know, uh, destroyed and put that fire to them. The Lord's going to allow them to shoot missiles at each other as a punishment man all right it's all gonna go down because all these nations that profited from our slavery from our oppression what's the how is it all gonna end it's all gonna end in fire and and destruction bloodshed that the lord is bringing okay habakkuk 2 and, and uh, 12 says um world to the uh, uh, the city that is established by blood you know and build a, a city by iniquity okay and that's america you know Especially, okay, because really Esau has built his whole kingdom and his whole world upon the bloodshed of the Lord's people, the Israelites. Okay. And the scriptures tell you, you know, that that land cannot be cleansed except by the blood of him that, that, that shed it. So Esau's only got so much longer left in his kingdom, man. Okay, it's the Lord that has given him this rulership for a short time and, and it's the Lord that's going to take it from him. Okay, remember the scripture tells you um, that the Lord uh, 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 ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whoever so he will and even the basis of men. Okay, I'm roughly quoting is Daniels 4 and 17. Okay, you know, you can read that chapter on that verse. All right, but it tells you that the Lord is the one that's given Esau the you know the rule and he's going to be the one to take take it away man all right uh, job uh 14 you know job 14 you know and, and uh you know five i believe you know the scripture tells you that he have appointed he have appointed his bounds that he cannot pass so and Esau knows he's only got a short time left. Why? Because he sees the prophets on the highways and byways, the street ministry, the, the prophets on the corners, you know, prophets on the, on the highways and the major places in the cities, crying aloud and sparing not, prophesying the downfall of the nations, man, according to the scriptures, saying, thus saith the Lord. So we're really close, man. We're at a time where Esau's ass is being showed, man. You know, and soon his, his horns, they're going to be revealed too, man. He's going to come down with great wrath from the people. All right, Revelations 12 and 12. Uh, Woe to the inhabitants of the sea and the earth, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay? Starting with our apostles, man, that have been teaching his word, you know, you know, you know, and, you know, for all these years, you know, you know, pushing that word, all right, the, the, the truth of the Holy Bible, you know, and it's spreading. You know, and, and the, the word, you know, prophecies, they're taking place, man. They're unfolding. 
okay uh, um, Habakkuk you know two it tells you that the, for the vision is yet for an appointed time and at the end it shall speak and it shall not lie though it tarry wait for it it shall surely come and we're seeing that man the MOTB okay that karagma that C hip that implant that they're gonna push on everybody only the elect being delivered from that and not taking it okay that is the MOTB man and we're seeing more articles we're seeing them push that heavy we're seeing them push that infrastructure more so we're in the end times man and that's why we're seeing things speed up okay and those that are playing around with what the MOTB is they're gonna get a rude awakening those that you know are not of the elect and that are that do take that implant they can't repent there's no repentance for taking that man you know and Esau knows Esau knows the Lord is coming back, man. All right, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right, his name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, the true name of our Lord. Being a so called black man, he's going to return to the earth, man. And Esau knows this is soon. That's why he's trying to push these prophecies. He's trying to push, which really it's the Lord pushing these prophecies. Esau can't do anything about it. But that's why Esau's trying to push that NW woe. All right, trying to get things going, man, because he knows he ain't got so much time left. You know, we're in the end days, man, and now's the time to repent for you Israelites. You know, return unto the Lord through this truth. All right, because we're in the last days, man. The scripture says, uh, uh, for uh, now our salvation draweth nearer than when we believed. All right. So I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, I was edifying. I'll say Shalom to the Lord's elect. I want to say, Kahalal Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh, Shai, Wa'arukah, Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the elect out there. Shalom.